Ryan and I recently visited the Hawaiian island of Kauai. Join us as we spend five nights exploring Hawaii's Garden Isle. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to help us reach our goal of getting 1,000 subscribers. Our first stop after leaving the airport was Kiyoki's Paradise for lunch. If you couldn't tell, I was very excited to finally get to eat after our six-hour flight without a meal. Kiyoki's Paradise features beautiful tropical surroundings and locally sourced ingredients. Ryan's Kama'ina Bowl featured ahi poke, kalua pork, kimchi, white rice, kalo chips, and seaweed salad, while I had the panko and magna crested fresh fish. We can't visit Hawaii without having pineapple upside down cake. And especially without having hula pie. We always have to have hula pie. After lunch, we checked into our hotel, the Grand Hyatt Kauai. We spent the rest of the evening relaxing at the hotel after a long day of traveling. Make sure to check out our hotel tour of the Grand Hyatt Kauai in our link at the end of the video. We hit the road on day two to explore the rest of the island. Our first stop was Waimea Canyon Lookout. Waimea Canyon is nicknamed the Grand Canyon of the Pacific with its crested buttes, rugged crags, and deep valley gorges. Gotta get in the family shots! Like my mom used to always say, you weren't there unless you were in the picture that says you were there. We were back on the road and our next stop was Kilia Beach on the northeast side of the island. Kalia Beach is a half mile long white sand beach good for surfing, boogie boarding, and sunbathing, although I think the currents were a bit too strong for this particular day. We saw some food trucks near Kapa'a Beach and decided to stop by for some lunch. Ryan was not impressed by the shrimp and rice we ordered from the Thai food truck. After lunch, we decided to stroll around the town of Kapa'a. Kapa'a is a charming historic town with many cute shops and restaurants. And as with everywhere else in Kauai, there was no shortage of roosters and chickens roaming the streets and the beaches. We were back on the road to get to our next stop, Wailua Falls. Wailua Falls is easy to get to with no hiking needed. <laughs> on day three, it was pouring rain most of the day, so we decided to stay at the resort. But we did get some breaks in the rain to enjoy the hotel pools. Ryan's favorite was the Saltwater Lagoon located right on the resort. We also decided to check out the spa during our day in. We did get a bit stir crazy and decided to get some air and sun since it was pouring rain. What better way to spend a rainy day than to see what goodies could be found at Costco? Of course we had to get some Costco-sized bags of Honolulu Cookie Company. And can't forget Kauai Cookie, we are in Kauai after all. We can't leave Hawaii without getting some Diamond Bakery cookies as well. Hmm, 
fake scallops? I haven't seen that in a Costco before. Or these boba milk tea mochi. And were you really in Kauai without picking up some Kauai coffee? But Ryan wanted to try out Roy's Kona coffee blend as well. Day 4 had more promising weather to continue our island exploring. And back on the road we were to head to Princeville on the North Shore. Princeville is a planned community featuring beautifully manicured homes and grounds surrounded by tropical rainforests and cliffside views. We decided to hike down to Queen's Bath, which is a very muddy hike that we weren't prepared for. Hike down to Queen's Bath. You're not gonna dance? I'm gonna die! Mud! Mud! Queen's Bath is a unique tide pool where small fish and sea life can be found during low tide. Today was not that time. Queen's Bath, taking a bath. Our next stop was Hyena Beach on the North Shore on our way to the town of Hanalei. Hyena Beach features a beautiful mountain backdrop with waterfalls. There's a waterfall right there. Right next to the beach. And there's a photo bomber. Manini Holo Cave is right across the street and fun and easy to explore. Our next stop was Hanalei Town for lunch. Hanalei features amazing views of the mountains and multiple waterfalls. We could easily see five waterfalls just from town. We took a quick stroll to see what was around. We ultimately decided on LNL Hawaiian barbecue for lunch since there weren't that many options open to choose from that day. And of course there were chickens joining us for lunch. This is Kauai after all. We made a stop at Kilauea Lighthouse and Wildlife Refuge. Many different animals call the area home including red-footed boobies, Hawaiian monk seals, and green sea turtles.
After the lighthouse, we headed back to Poipu to rest and have dinner. We had dinner at Eating House 1849, which features Hawaiian fusion cuisine by acclaimed chef Roy Yamaguchi. For starters, we had Mongolian barbecue ribs, fried Brussels sprouts, and cauliflower. With sizzling ribeye tataki right after. Ryan had the blackened island ahi, while I had the miso glazed cod. Got chocolate cake for our two birthday celebrants. And of course, pineapple upside down cake. And a melting chocolate souffle cake. We were back on the road for day 5, which started with beautiful sunny weather. We missed Kalalau Lookout when we went to Waimea Canyon on day 2, so we went back up through Waimea Canyon to get to the lookout. The views we missed along the drive up were totally worth driving through the canyon again. From the Kalalau Lookout, you can see the dramatic Nepali coast. After we drove back down Route 550, we stopped in the small town of Waimea. There's a few small shops and restaurants in town to check out before entering or after leaving the Waimea Canyon area. Our next stop was the Kauai Coffee Plantation. Unfortunately, the tours were done for the day when we stopped by, so all we could do was check out the gift shop. There's a good selection of coffee to choose from in the gift shop, so we picked up bags of different flavors not available at Costco during our Costco run. The gift shop also features different antiques from the plantation. and of course an on-site coffee shop. Ryan decided he'd start working here once he retires in Hawaii. Or not.
Our final stop on our final day was Poipu Beach. We saved it for last since it's near the resort and would be an easy stop from the hotel. Poipu Beach is a popular place for swimming since it had some of the calmest waters we've seen our entire stay in Kauai. We even got to see some Hawaiian monk seals just chilling on the beach. That ends our 5 day stay in Kauai. We hope you liked our video and we'll see you next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to help us reach our goal of getting 1,000 subscribers.